Okay. Itamex Kanatani. Good morning. It is the pre dawn of Tuesday, December. I think I just saw something moving up here. Tuesday, December 3rd, 2019. In the lunar cycle, it can echo go to need tests when the rivers freeze over. Groundhog's Day. <laughs> Whatever it was, I don't see it anymore. Maybe just a cottontail. Um, yeah, Groundhog's Day. It's beginning to feel like that. This morning, my body wanted to do something different. Um, I don't know. Early, early in the morning, maybe four thirty-five o'clock, something like this. My body started telling me, you know, why don't you get up and go lift some weights downstairs? <laughs> and I didn't do it. I should have, I should have, but I didn't. Then I started thinking to myself, well, when I get out to the pond today, I'll run. You know, maybe I'll run to the Rust Rock Cathedral and back instead of doing this walk. But as I lay there in bed, planning this half-heartedly, at least, <laughs> um, I could hear the wind kind of howling against the walls. And that, that pretty much killed my steam for the running plan. And so, I am back again, taking my walk around the pond as my kind of morning wake up. But my body is telling me it's time to start doing something more vigorous during these hours. So. You might see my routine change up a bit here. If I, uh, <laughs> if I can pull myself away from the bed one of these mornings, just a little bit earlier. Any case, let the day begin. There seems to be an emerging theme to my morning that goes something like, hey man, <laughs> bear in mind opportunities that are there one moment might not be there the next. If you decide to sleep in and miss your, your body's call to lift weights, it's on you if you feel shittier in the morning than you have to. <laughs> or when you're pulling out a spopeek in me like you did not too long ago after your walk this morning and you see a freshly bumped deer on the side of the road it wouldn't have hurt to pull over and stash the deer could have stashed it right in here just drug it off the road far enough that it wouldn't be noticed up there by people passing by and that I could then go open up the studio and rush back and um, harvest some of the meat and stuff from it. That was my plan, but I didn't stash the carcass. 
So in the interim, in about the hour that I was gone to the studio, the carcass was cleaned up. Probably hauled off to be incinerated somewhere. Hopefully, hopefully not. Hopefully brought and piled into those carcasses they they lift by helicopter up into the mountains to feed the deer or the uh, bears the grizzlies when they wake up at the end of winter keep them in the mountains for a while while they're hungry give them something to eat people always quick to criticize don't feed the animals believe it or not the government does feed the grizzly bears but it's just smart about it feeds them in a way that's helpful to us you know feeds them deep into the mountains <laughs> and gets them habituated to that when they first wake up rather than roaming down slope to get the uh, get at any of the slow monkeys <laughs> while they're really really hungry any case yeah no good on the deer bummer I'd hope to get at least a couple of back straps and check on you know what the what the extent of the injury was maybe I could get a whole like hind quarter or something but no luck off to walk poly Opting for a protein heavy lunch this afternoon. Just bought just a roast chicken and taking one of the breasts off of it. Uh, the rest will go home for poli, and usually the kids like to have some too. And then um, for fruit and veg kind of stuff, I'm going to eat this half a cantaloupe. So basically, chicken breast, cantaloupe, and snow melt water for me this afternoon. Feeling, feeling like being clean. <laughs> Far cry from mozzarella sticks. See if you're eating clean or not. We can cut this on a little lasagna. protein. A lot of carbs going on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We just got edibles. <laughs> we got lots of edibles. I just got edibles. What do you think? It's really nice. Let's see the back. So, cool. so I'll show you how to level it. Turn on. Okay, you're started. Yeah. It'll be more 
get fat. <laughs> That's really nice, JC. I like it. So we could do that angle then. Hey, Heidi. Hi. <laughs> Ryan's Kent camera. Hi, Heidi. Oh, I gotta see what Barry's doing over here. Mr. Barry. This is belt number two underway, hey? I'm gonna be wicked. So, session's over for the day. I'm gonna head out, probably stop down in the coolies real quick. I think I'd like to take a look at the beaver site. It's been warm for a couple of days above zero, and I wanna see how the water's doing in their little pool. It's probably still quite frozen over as I'd predict, but we'll, we'll see. Um, any case, I'm gonna bring Chelsea's belt home with me because it's more or less done. Got it all buckled and all of that. I just need to add a concho on the back, okay? That mirrored concho on the back, but bring it home. Let her take a look at it. Maybe, maybe she'll even try it on. Well, I'm sure she'll try it on, but whether she'll actually put on her dance outfit so we can see how it coordinates, that's a whole different story. Probably not, but we'll get a look at it, see how she likes it anyway. Here we are at the river upstream from the weir and the beaver site here and everything's still frozen over for sure beavers have not been coming up on on land somebody's been throwing <laughs> some of the logs out here that I laid up on the shore some of the already chewed logs and it, re it reminds me this big one here uh, part of my imaginings that I had going on this morning at Shpopikami is I was feeling like revved up to start the day and wishing I had done a little bit more exercise. I thought maybe I'd come out here and take that beaver chewed log because it's a little bit heavy. It's still pretty green. I think it came off of this tree. I thought I'd take that and use it as a workout tool. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I will. But beavers yeah not coming out um, I still definitely have the option here of slamming through the ice <clears throat> with a sledgehammer and scooting some of their food in there um, during winter as we see how things progress but they do got a bit of food already um, I don't intend to entirely starve them out if I can help it, but um, I, I'm not sure it's going to be very hard for me to know where they're at food-wise. But we'll keep an eye on things, any case. Moon is at about a quarter up there. Quiet side of the river because it's all iced over. Waterfowl have no use for it. If the waterfowl have no use for it, that means the coyotes have no use for it. The eagles have no use for it. Yeah, your chances of seeing some action out here are pretty nil. <laughs> well, I might as well pack up and go home. getting her done I almost just moved it to a staging area and then left it for a 
a future morning, but as my day has told me, it's no time like the present, so I'm hauling this sucker home with me. I've got some ideas for it, some pretty <laughs> silly ideas. We'll see where I go with it, but step one is today's carry. like this. It was kind of wiggling and I didn't care and I just pulled it out and it was so, oh, and like I told my dad and my dad was proud of me because I pulled in my mom and John <laughs> was proud. Was it your right front tooth or, or was it on the side? Oh, bottom, bottom, bottom uh, incisor but not the first incisor, the second incisor. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's really awesome. I'm so proud. <laughs> Is that your first lost tooth? Yeah. Your first one. That's pretty cool. 